purple state this election. And mm. that's not the same thing as being a purple state. And what I'm saying is that it's the magical and, and, and the tremendous ground game that the Obama forces put out there, which, which uh, had an effect on the electorate and the turnout. The turnout was not, uh, percentage-wise, a little bit lower than it was in, in 2008. But I look at the landscape in this state, and I see a Republican Party that's dominant in both houses of the legislature. They're dominant in our congressional delegation. They control most of the statewide offices. And so they're not going to give that up lightly. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that uh, what I do see, though, is I, I see that, that the Republican Party is being forced to move away from, from the... W one thing you didn't hear at all this cycle was the Tea Party crowd. Mm -hmm. They just more or less disappeared. So the Republicans have to find a new voice, a slightly more moderate voice, but I'm not ready to declare you know, that Florida's moving to the Democratic column. Uh, far from it. I think the Republicans are still uh, in strongly entrenched in the state.